Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Like to take a quick hop to Paris tomorrow? The CBS Radio Network is offering you a lightning-fast route via the Monday through Friday feature entitled Your Man in Paris. Your Man, in this case, happens to be CBS News correspondent David Schoenbrunn, whose perceptive eye makes for fluent, fascinating observations about the great city on the Seine. Your Man in Paris, weekdays. Also heard each Monday through Friday, A Woman's Washington with Nancy Honchman which takes you on a tour of the nation's capital. There's Man and Wife, hosted by Zachary Scott, with absorbing stories of famous couples. Personal Story brings you autobiographies in sound of a new celebrity each week. And for entertaining, rewarding data on a host of topics, Information Central with Alan Jackson and Sidelights with Douglas Edwards. Weekdays, hear them here. I sure am glad to see you back. <laughs> it's good to be back, Chester. My land, you've been gone over a month. Yeah, six weeks to be exact. I declare, you sure must have covered a lot of territory. I'll tell you all about it later, Chester. But what's been going on here? Oh, nothing much, Guess You know how Dodge is. Things are just about the same. They are, huh? Now, what about that new sign over the Long Branch there? Hmm? You're, oh, <laughs> my goodness, Mr. Dillon, I plumb forgot that. That happened the week after you left. Kitty Russell, proprietor. Ain't that the doggondest thing you ever heard of? Miss Kitty bought the place. Well, where'd she get the money? Well, I, you know, Miss Kitty, she don't never spend much, and she's been saving it for years and years. Well, I guess it mounts up you save it that way. You ought to go in and say hello, Miss Dillon. Miss Kitty's been waiting real proud for you to get back. Yeah, I'd like to, if you put my horse up for me. Oh, sure. I'll see you in the office later, Chester. Okay. Hello, Sam. Where? Marshal Dillon. When'd you get back? Just now. I saw the new sign outside, and I came in to see if the price of whiskey had gone up. <laughs> Marshal, the price of whiskey's gone down at the Long Branch. It's the first thing Kitty did. Yeah, the place make more money than ever, though. Sure got to hand it to her. Where is she, Sam? Uh, she went to her room, Marshal. I wish you'd go see her. She got me worried. Oh, why? Well, we were sitting here talking business, and a boy come in with a telegram for her. She read it, turned kind of pale, and she got up and left. Oh. Well, all right, Sam. I'll go up and see her. to congratulate you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, Kitty, 
Sam told me about the telegram. If there's anything I can do to help. Oh, Matt, you got it all wrong. Sam, too. It's not bad news. Oh? Well, I'm glad to hear that. It's uh, my father, Matt. What? My father, Wayne Russell. He's coming here to Dodge tomorrow. Well, I thought your father was, well, lost. Well, he has been. I've never even seen him. He left my mother in New Orleans a few months after I was born. Yeah, I know. He was a gambler, Matt. Worked the riverboats. Mother always said he was a very charming man. Funny thing is, she never held it against him, his deserting her. She just accepted it as the way he was. Well, how do you feel about him, Kitty? <laughs> Same as my mother, I guess. Hmm. He's coming tomorrow, you say, huh? Matt. Will you go to the depot with me to meet him? Like I say, I'm I'm real happy about it, but I feel kind of scared. Are you all set for Valentine's Day? Have you remembered to get that special someone a card or even a gift? And what about your camera? Are you planning to snap pictures of your loved ones, ready to make this St. Valentine's Day a memory that will last forever on film? Well, if you haven't done the latter, then now's the perfect time to stock up on film and flash bulbs. Because right now, Sylvania is offering the greatest premium ever. Yes, with every pack of Sylvania blue dot flash bulbs you buy, you'll receive a free Bright Star Penlight Photo Flash battery for your flash camera. But don't delay. This offer is good for a limited time only. Hurry. The next time you're out shopping, whether it be at your supermarket, drugstore, department store, or photo supply store, pick up a pack of Sylvania Blue Dot Flash Bulbs, the world's largest selling brand, and receive your free Bright Star Photo Flash battery. Get your Blue Dots and battery in time for Valentine's Day. Matt, Matt, do you really think you'll be honest? Now, you just keep calm, Kitty. Well, people are starting to get off, see? Yeah, you see. Oh, I, I just thought of something. What? Well, how do I recognize him? I don't even know what he looks like. Matt, what do I do? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, here comes Chester with somebody now. Oh, do you think that's him? Well, he's about the right age. Gray hair. Dressed mighty fancy. Well, what do I say to him? Maybe it isn't him at all. Take it easy, Doc Kitty. I found him, Miss Kitty. He come right up to me and asked if I knew you. Imagine that. So you're Kitty. Hello. You're beautiful. I knew you'd be beautiful. Thank you. Well, I know how you feel, child. But we'll get acquainted. We're going to be great friends. Oh, well, sure. I, I mean, of course. Oh, uh, this is Marshal Dillon. Welcome to Dodge, Mr. Russell. Thank you, Marshal. It's a pleasure to know you. Kitty, I want to meet all your friends. And uh, I have an idea. Yeah? I'd like to give a dinner tonight. I trust there's a, a restaurant here that could accommodate us. Oh, sure they are, Mr. Russell. That's a fine idea. They're Delmonico's. It's the best. We could go there right now and tell them to get started cooking. Chester. Well, I'm only trying to help. Well, that'd be pretty expensive, wouldn't it? Kitty, my child, the expense doesn't matter. I own a very prosperous freighting business in New Orleans now. I've had it for some time. Well... That's wonderful. Will you invite your friends for me, Kitty? Yeah, if you want. And uh, about how many shall I tell them to expect? Well, um, Chester and Matt and Doc Adams and... Uh, oh, I don't know. Well, Miss Kitty, ain't you going to ask Sam? After all, he's your very best bartender. A uh, bartender? What does that mean, Kitty? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing? Why, Mr. Russell, she's the owner of the Go in a Saloon in Dodge. That's no. all. Is this true, Kitty? Well... You, associated with the saloon business? An unmarried woman has to make a living. And I'm making a good one. Uh, yes, of course, of course. We'll talk about all this later, Kitty. But tonight, we'll celebrate. Shall we say, uh, 8 o'clock at Delmonico's? 
I'll see you there, too, Marshal. Sure. Hey, I'll take your hotel, Mr. Russell. Thank you, Chester. Very kind of you to put yourself out of your way for a travel with a stranger. Well, Kitty. So that's my father, huh? He's quite a gentleman, isn't he? Matt. Yeah. I need a drink. <laughs> Well, it was a pretty good meal, wasn't it, Mr. Russell? I want to thank you for recommending the place, Chester. Oh, of course, I guess it ain't nothing like what you're used to down in New Orleans. Yeah. Miss Kitty's told me about how good they eat down there, ain't you, Miss Kitty? Uh, yeah, I guess so, Please, Chester. pretty good here. Oh. What's the matter with you, Kitty? Right, I, I don't know, Doc. What do you mean? Oh. We sure don't have much to say. Maybe she's kind of shy, Doc. Ch Kitty? Oh, nonsense. Hey, let me fill your glass, Doc. What? Sam Newton. Is getting ori eyed. I think he's about to propose a toast. Oh, that's all we need. Watch him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I tell you. <laughs> Let's drink. Let's drink a toast to my new employer, Kitty Russell. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To her old man, oh, her father, yeah. and to their happy reunion. Yes. Yeah. A very happy reunion. Yeah. And to more of them. Forever and ever and forever. Oh, working for mercy, Sam. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. This is the happiest day of my life. Now, here's to you, Kitty. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray for gifts, everybody! Oh, <laughs> look at Chester there. So you better lock Chester and Sam in the same cell tonight, Matt. That's a good idea, Doc. Uh, I'm afraid I gotta go now. Okay, come, Kitty. The evening oh. just started. Well, it started at the Long Branch, too. I'm in business, remember? Yes, yes, I know. I uh, don't think Sam's gonna be much help tonight. I'd better get down there and take over. You know... I ain't gonna be no help at all, Kitty. <laughs> Don't you worry, Sam. You stay, have a good time. No, Kitty, you can't go out in that street this time of night. It's all right, Mr. Russell, I'll go with her. Well, if she must leave. Uh, I'll stop in later and say good night, Kitty. Hey, now, Sam, you shouldn't be drinking all night. Well, now, now look at you. Get for. Well, that's a very nice party. Yeah, fine. <clears throat> uh, what is it, Kitty? Because he disapproves of your being in the saloon business? Mm -hmm. He'll get used to it, Matt. Maybe I gotta get used to having a father, that's all. Now, you haven't made him feel very welcome. I haven't decided yet whether he's welcome or not. Well, I... I didn't mean to interfere, Kitty. It's just no business of mine. Oh, I understand, Matt. But we'll see soon enough. Chester? It's a good-looking horse Chester's riding, Matt. <laughs> He's thinking of buying it, Doc. Buying it? Chester? Yeah. With what? That horse will be old as a man before he closes the deal. Well, that could be. <laughs> oh, Isn't that Kitty and her father coming out of the bank? Yeah, it is. Is she treating him as cold as ever, Matt? Yeah, it's been two weeks since she hasn't changed a bit toward him, as far as I've noticed. No, she's waving to you, see. She wants you to come over there. No. All right. Well, I'll be back directly, Doc. All right. The sun will keep your seat warm. Yeah. Good morning, Marshal. Mr. Russell. Good morning, Kitty. Well, we got some news for you, Matt. Oh? Uh -huh. It's good news, Marshal. Oh. Uh, We've been talking to Mr. Botkin, and he'll buy the Long Branch any time, for cash. You mean you're thinking of selling out? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, just before we leave. Before you leave? 
I'm going back to New Orleans, Matt. I'm going to take my money and put it into my father's freight business there. It makes sense, Marshal. Kitty and I should be together. And besides, the saloon business is no place for a lady. I can see that now. I've had to learn a lot in the last couple of weeks, Matt. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess you have. Well, if you're going to get packed, you better start, Kitty. Oh, I am, right now. I'll see you at supper. Fine. I'll go over to the depot and see the train agent about our tickets. Oh, I'm a proud man today, Marshal. A proud and happy man. Now, if you'll excuse me. Kitty. Yeah, man. Whose idea was this? You're selling out and all. Well, he likes to think it was both of ours. But? I'll have to give him the credit, Matt. He's been talking about it one way or another for two whole weeks now. He's awful smart. He can convince anybody of anything. Yeah, I guess he can. What is it, Matt? Don't you like him? It doesn't matter whether I like him or not, Kitty. No. No, I guess it doesn't. But I sure don't trust him. Now we're getting somewhere. What? I'm going to need your help, Matt. I don't trust him either. <laughs> Income tax time seem a long way off. Not for the smart taxpayer, it isn't. It's time now to round up all the facts and give them a leisurely going over. Haste makes waste of possible tax savings. Haste also makes for mathematical mistakes, which result in returned returns. File early. Now, while there's time to make sure you have passed up no legal chance to save yourself tax dollars. Assistance, free assistance in any aspect of your income tax return is available for the asking by phone or in person at any Internal Revenue Service office listed in your phone book under the United States government listing. Don't hesitate to ask. Don't hesitate to learn which form it's to your best advantage to use. Having decided that, do a slow, careful job with all the help you need to get your return mathematically correct, factually accurate. And take advantage of every legal means to cut your tax bill. Something you can best do when you leave plenty of time for the job. Good morning, Mr. Russell. Good morning, Marshal. I see the train's ready. Where's Kitty? And she insisted on meeting me here. She wanted to do her business at the bank alone for some reason. Well, maybe it's because this is the last time she'll be doing any business on her own. Yes, I hope so. No woman should be in business anyway. Yeah, especially Kitty. <laughs> she uh, trusts people too much. They take advantage of her. Not anymore, I can assure you. I only hope she gets here with that money. Well, nobody's likely to hold up a woman in broad daylight, Mr. Russell. Yeah, yeah. But they would at night. Huh? Oh, there are some men who'll do anything a dollar, day or night. <clears throat> yes. Oh, there she comes. I told you she'd be all right. Nobody would bother Kitty anyway. She's awfully well liked around here, Mr. Russell, by an awful lot of people. Yes, yes, of course. And they'd take it mighty personal if uh, anything happened to her. Oh, uh, yeah. No yeah. matter who did it, Mr. Russell. Morning, Kitty. Morning, Matt. Father? You're late, Kitty. Oh, the train hasn't left. No, but we better be getting aboard. All right. Well, do you have a bag of some kind? Oh, my luggage is all taken care no, of. No, no, I mean a <clears throat> handbag. You're not carrying anything. I know. But where's the money, Kitty? Didn't you get it? No, Father, I didn't. What? I changed my mind the last minute. What do you mean? Well, I decided to leave it here in the long branch with Sam Noonan. It's a good investment. I can always come back for it. Now, look here, Kitty. I'm deciding things for you for now. I will talk about it on the train. Come on. No. No, we're not leaving until you get that money. Which is it you want, Father? Me or the money? No, it isn't a question of that. Now, you do as I say. You haven't changed a bit. What? Mother always said you'd never change, and she was right. 
Don't tell me you're running a freight business in New Orleans, you liar. Now that's enough. Take it easy. You stay out of this, Mark. You're just another man to me, Father. And a crook to boot. Kitty, you're going to be sorry for this. I'd be a whole lot more sorry if I let you steal my money. All right, Kitty, all right. I think he understands. Now you're in this together. I'll fix you. I'll fix you both. All right. Now, Mr. Russell, you played it pretty smart so far. Don't disappoint us now. What? Why don't you see it through? Don't come apart at the last minute. Don't make me throw you in jail. Why don't you play it all the way, Mr. Russell? You can do it. Please, Father, do it. Get on the train and go. Leave me at least that pride. Father, please. Goodbye, Kitty. Goodbye. Marshal? Goodbye. This is Dennis James to make a point about reliable, effective Kellogg's All Brand. Repeat after me, please. What do you want when you need brand? What do you want when you need brand? Reliability. Reliability. Now, what do you get in Kellogg's All Brand? What do you get in Kellogg's All Brand? Reliability. Right. You see, Kellogg's All Brand is the reliable brand that millions depend on for the effectiveness they want. It's the real Battle Creek formula that brings you more brand bulk in every serving, more of the vital brand bulk that helps you keep regular. Kellogg's All Brand is also low in calories and mighty pleasant tasting. You can trust Kellogg's for that. The crisp toasted shreds have the kind of good brand muffin flavor that most folks are partial to. So next time you're shopping, get Kellogg's All Brand and you'll get reliability. That's what you get in Kellogg's All Brand. Reliability. Gunsmoke. Produced and directed in Hollywood by Norman MacDonald. Stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston. Featured in the cast were John Daner and Vic Perrin. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke. Have a happy habit Monday through Friday with Bing Crosby and Rosemary Clooney on the CBS Radio Network. Thrill after thrill and you are in the middle of them all. Windjammer, Louis de Rochemont's spectacular epic now showing at the Winwood Theater. Windjammer can never be shown in a local or neighborhood theater, but only in a specially equipped Cinemerical Theater. Don't miss Windjammer, now showing at the Winwood Theater in Oak Cliff. You're in tune with KRLD, AM and FM in Dallas, complete big time radio. You may have less time to read, but you'll enjoy it more when you read the Dallas Times Herald. The Times Herald has the right combination, the news, the features that sharpen your viewpoint, widen your world. The Times Herald brings you Sunday, the local color gravure magazine that's fast, fast, and fun to read. All about people and places you know. Get the Dallas Times Herald. 
KRLD time, 7 o'clock, the downtown temperature, 68 degrees.